armed anytime uh, somebody has interaction with him and that he is to be considered very dangerous. A habitual criminal who managed to slip away from law enforcement back in June. The focus of tonight's at-large Utah's fugitives. Cody Halliday has an extensive criminal history fueled by a long-standing drug addiction. Chief investigative reporter Wendy Halloran has been doing the legwork on why it's important that he's caught. Wendy. Well, Heidi and Mark, Cody Halliday has been granted parole time and time again. The Utah Board of Pardons and Parole issued a warrant for his arrest. This parole fugitive is no stranger to Utah County Sheriff's deputies, and tonight they need your help to find him. These are the many faces of Cody Halliday, 23 inmate photos two news investigates obtained from the Utah Department of Corrections. He's got 34 entries in his criminal history. You don't get many people that have that many. He has racked up convictions for weapons offenses, assault, child abuse, drugs, forgery, escape, making threats, theft, and more. This is him on May 27th, 2021, explaining how he wound up back in prison. I tested positive for, unfortunately, methamphetamine. Methamphetamine is my drug of choice. It's been a, a demon I fought for 20 years. For me to you, I screwed up. I had a moment of weakness in my addiction. The hearing officer was blunt about the size of his prison record. Well, I can't even put it over here because it's, you know, it was blocked the computer screen. Let's go back in time to July 22, 2010. This is Halliday trying to persuade a parole hearing officer he deserved another chance at parole. And the difference between now and then is, well, I've grown up, and I know not only in age, but I got children. The hearing officer said he would recommend a parole date to the board instead of having Halliday serve more time. I'll take you at face value what you're telling me, and we'll see what happens. Keep in mind, though, if you come back, they won't do it again. Yes. You understand that? I do, and I do appreciate that. Before he was paroled, there was a problem. Weapons found in several cells and concerns of hits being ordered on inmates. And so they searched your cell. They found three sharp pieces of metal with cloth wrapped around them like a weapon, two syringes, two homemade tattoo guns with motors and needles. I'm guilty of not being observant of my house and noticing that things were tampered with but I didn't know that those things were there. She asked him about his allegiance to the white supremacist gang Silent Aryan Warriors. I am a member of SAW, pretty much that's it. I mean... Pretty much that's it. Well, I'm, I'm a member, but it's not like... It's my turn to... It's my time and stuff to go out and do good, but I am a documented member of SAW. State prison has been a revolving door for Holiday. You're, you're going to have to determine if you want to keep having this be your main address of... You know, location. Utah County Sheriff's deputies want to know his location. Sergeant Spencer Cannon. Well, our, our latest interaction with Cody Halliday uh, was some of our, uh, uh, our undercover narcotics detectives who uh, got information uh, about where he was going to be, got him in a position. He went in this house, and when he came back out, they tried to take him down, and he was with a girlfriend. Uh, they surrounded the house, and they... they hoped that they had been able to get him cornered in there, but, but he was able to slip through. Uh, Cannon says if you see him, call 911. And that if anybody knows where he is, they should exercise extreme caution. This is the parole board warrant. Uh, but yeah, we, we'd like to get him locked up and give the Board of Pardons another chance to keep him in place where he belongs. Cody Halliday is 40 years old. He has brown hair and brown eyes. He is 5 feet 11 inches tall and weighs around 190 pounds. As Sergeant Cannon said, he is considered armed and dangerous. If you see him, call 911 immediately. Do not approach him. Reporting in studio, Wendy Halloran, KUTV, 2 News.